Don't worry about that. That's lock and loaded. That's a fucking gun. Bosh, bish, bash, boom. Tricep. Um, this week, last week, the, the recording was poor. This week, I did record my workout yesterday. However, I didn't come here and do like a little vloggy, toggy, woggy. Oh, can't say that. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I did, didn't do a vlog because I just had some personal shit to deal with, which is now dealt with. Kaboom! Kaboom! So now we're back today with more energy, buzzing. Um, the sessions, honestly, are sick. Do you know what's come on leaps and bounds, though? I'll talk to you about my session today because I didn't actually record it because there's bare people in the gym and they were doing my fucking heading because they weren't putting their weights back. So I was just like, you're pissing me off. Let me get raging against the machine in my ear. Did it, did it. Do you know what I mean? Big session. Um, did four sets of six reps, incline dumbbell press, supersetted that with incline dumbbell fly, 46 kgs on the dumbbells, supersetted with 16 on the fly. Don't worry about it, four times 10 flies. Did I say that already? Maybe, I don't know. Then I moved into three sets of 10 wide grip chin ups, three sets of 10 tricep dips, three sets of 10 pull ups. Why? Because I'm locking and loading these guns, baby. Pew, pew. Um, biggest win from this week already and even last week, which I didn't actually document, is my journaling has gone to new levels. Since I started this, journaling is something that I've wanted to improve for so long and my journaling has honestly been just a bit hoo-ha, a bit, um, bit light, a bit faffy. I'm not really putting any intention into what I'm saying. However, however... Now, I'm four weeks deep, five weeks, I think this is week five. I'm really getting the hang of it. I'm loving my journaling. I'm putting all of my thoughts onto paper and it is making me just see good things in every single situation. So I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Uh, that is a huge win, the journaling. Also, another big win. Your boy is nine days sober. I don't know when this is gonna go out, but when I've recorded this, it is currently Tuesday the 16th, man's nine days sober, you know? So, giving up the drink is something that I've wanted to do for ages. However, being home, going to Europe, there's just been always like an occasion on. Whereas now, things are a little bit different, you get me? Um, I've wanted to like just knock drinking on the head. It doesn't really make me feel great when I get pissed or Getting pissed doesn't really warrant the hangover. Having said that, my mate's having a housewarming party, not this weekend, next weekend, which I will be getting absolutely bladdered at because I've made the decision that that will be my final weekend in the UK. Whether that means I'm going to Aussie Wazzy or I'm going to be going to Bali, maybe even Spain, maybe even Spain. But one of those three, option, three options, come September, your boy is on the move because I am not built, I'm not a tree. I'm not a fucking tree and I'm built to fucking move. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave that for today. Um, obviously give you the workout details. Sorry I didn't record it. I know that you deserve better, I will do better. Much love, catch you, I'm gonna say catch you in the next one. But what I've actually realized I need to do is say, and tomorrow, and then obviously you'll either get food or a little vlog or a little workout experience. I don't know how what the best way to structure it is. I'm learning as I go, but something that you can take from that is I'm doing. And you might think, what the fuck is this geezer going on about? But in my head, I'm doing. So I'm gonna work out the best way to do it whilst I'm doing it. Um, and that's that. Anyway, much love. I don't know why I'm saying that because you're literally gonna see me in the next clip. So whatever that is gonna be, I hope that's the right way on the screen, or maybe. It. Today, I did something that I've not done since this transformation started. I skipped a workout, and I want to talk about it because you feel like you need to be go, go, go all the time, but that is not the truth. And when I say I skipped a workout, not because it just wasn't possible for me to go to the gym, I chose to stay in bed rather than to train. And the reason for that is because my body was telling me I don't feel rested enough and going to the gym today is not going to be beneficial. It's only going to make me feel worse in the long run. So there's this mentality that it's like, 
no pain, no gain, push yourself through every single session, every session counts, whatever. But there's also an element, you need to listen to your body. So I had a couple of shit, night, shit nights sleep, that caught up with me. So today I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna skip one session today, tomorrow I will mix my workout workouts together, so I'll do a full body session tomorrow, and then I'll be revitalized and ready to go again. I think it's so important, like what I want to teach you throughout this transformation is you've got to really realize that this is not an all or nothing thing. And if you think and put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect throughout the process, you will quit because pressure and stress will, it makes people quit. So do not do that. Just understand, sometimes it's good to listen to your body. I've already been up, I've gone for a long walk, I've done loads of steps this week, I'll do loads of steps today, and I'll keep myself ticking over. It's not one, you gotta remember, one hot day doesn't make a summer is a saying that I love. Because you're not gonna get your results from one session, but also you're not gonna lose them from skipping one. Just don't make it a habit. So tomorrow, you're gonna see me banging bare weights and back on it. But today is a day of rest that I absolutely needed and I'm grateful for. Another day not trained. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so last couple of days I didn't gym. Yesterday had a bit of a health scare so I decided not to train and it was actually due to stress and anxiety actually so uh, went to the doctors and they just said yeah this is the reasons why so really really weird but whatever then today uh, also couldn't get up and train my sleep was interrupted because of some life stress that I'm going through at the minute it honestly isn't that deep but I think it's important for me to be honest on these vlogs because if I'm not, then you're not gonna really get the full picture and why sometimes you can beat yourself up for not training and today I'm really not. I've made sure that I've got my loads of steps in today. Um, but I think that it's important if you do go through a life stress, then you can sort of lose your head in the sense of falling out of your routine a little bit. But it's important also to for your mental health to process these things, so not to expect too much of your, yourself. Like, if you are going through things that life do throw at you sometimes, it's important just to take a step back and deal with it and then recharge. So, yeah, this week I've only trained twice. I wasn't really too happy with my sessions. Um, and that was mainly because the gym was busy and obviously I've had a lot of things going on in my head. But two times is better than no times and I'm doing everything outside of the gym to make sure that I am still burning calories, still eating um, well. So there isn't a lot of stress in that sense in terms of the transformation. I know my normal self, my normal habits is training four times a week. So that's how it will continue from next week. But I just needed a couple of days. One was a health issue. And then obviously today, I just needed to process something. So yeah, that's my final day of the week that I would actually train, whereas next week I'll be straight back on it. Um, and it's gonna give me, what is it? It's Thursday today. So it will give me Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it'll be five days not trained. So then I'm already excited for the gym on Monday. Do you know what I mean? So with, things that happen in your life don't get hung up that if you go off track for a few days or whatever you're a human being and that's important to remember so come monday i'll just be back to my usual self and absolutely smashing it um the health scale was a bit worrying obviously and considering it is due to a bit of stress and anxiety if you're on my email list you'll know what i'm talking about but it's just one of those things isn't it and everybody knows throughout this vlog series that I'm not in the environment that I want to be in, which is playing on my mind a hell of a lot. However, I'm also just sat here accepting it. 
but things are going to change soon i know that and you're going to see a whole new side of me i promise you that now um i've literally just been journaling away i don't know why oh is he getting the is he getting the badge in yeah that's that's my tag hoya notepad don't worry but yeah i've literally that's something i can actually talk about i've just literally journaled about so much stuff in my life which i feel i needed to work for and maybe i was putting off um i feel like my focus hasn't been on me a lot recently it's been on other things other situations that it's not who I am. I am a very selfish person and I'm happy about that. But when I don't focus on what makes me happy or if I try and please other people, then my happiness just dives and I'm invested in too many situations that are not good for me. So just journaling that out now, it's honestly made me, I probably spent maybe an hour and a half journaling and I feel the clarity of mind. My, I feel like, the only way I can describe it is I, after journaling that, I feel like I've just had a big dupe. Is that, a, is that a saying for a joint? I don't know. But yeah, I feel pretty high, like just relaxed, very, very chilled. And maybe that's coming across, but that's what journaling can do for you. And I think it's really important to journal because if you don't journal, you're having all of these thoughts in your head in a day when the reality is, is when you actually focus with intention about what is going on in your head you will write on paper things that you didn't actually think you had the clarity to see whereas when it's written down like when the pen starts flowing honestly it just takes you to new levels so yeah journaling is just next level shit at the minute for me and i'm absolutely loving it it's making me very happy of where i am and the situations i am in so um, long may that continue but yeah no training but I'm not down about it as I say there's there's tools that I'm using that are not focused on training like my steps have just been a joke at the moment listening to podcasts that I love audio books just getting myself back to the sharpest tool that I can be so yeah but I don't know if I'll do a vlog tomorrow maybe I won't Obviously, if this is the last one of this week, you obviously know there wasn't one last week. And the reason for that is I tried to record it on my iPhone and then there was technical issues. So don't worry, consistency is key. I will be back, this will be going out. But um, yeah, I think it's important for me. As I say, I wanted to be honest with this. Excuse me. I wanted to be honest with this journey that I'm on because I want you to know that it's not all sunshines and rainbows and there's going to be times when you are gassed after a workout or everything in your workout seems to be going fantastic and you're training and whatever and then bang, you're hit with something and then it slows you down. But you've got two options really in my opinion. You can just say, oh fuck, I'm slowing down and quit or you can understand, process it and then keep moving forward. So that's exactly what I've done. And I feel honestly like the energy that you're getting now, I realize it is like low level, but that is just because I feel so happy and so clear in my head about situations that are going on now that it just feels like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. And that has just come from journaling. So um, that will be the key bit of advice this week is make sure you're journaling and um, yeah, next week will be better.